Good morning, Sean Nico from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy. Want to make this quick video say thank you so much for considering us for your needs and giving me the opportunity to earn your business. I'm here inside this awesome 2021 Forest River Gray Wolf 26 DBH Black Label. I know you were really wanting the 27 DBH, but I got to tell you, I've had more customers get happily involved with this model versus any other. This is a black label, so it will have the gel coat fiberglass that you wanted. It does have a private mastery here. You do have a spot uh, that you can place a TV mount there. If you want to add a TV in here, it does have a ward on each side for hanging clothes, as well as overhead storage and a nightstand on each side with chargers. So we do have the jackknife couch here. I know you were concerned about the viewing angle of the TV, but an easy fix for that is to get a swivel mount so you can put it just about anywhere you want to get a comfortable viewing angle. This is really the bunkhouse that started all uh, with the Grey Wolf and they came out with the different variations. But I got to tell you, this is our, you know, bread and butter model here. It's got everything that you need and you're going to save about $3,000. You can get it this week, not have to wait 14 to 16 weeks like we were talking about. I'm actually surprised that we have this one in stock. I'm glad that we have this one available. Uh, we can definitely make it yours. You do have the slide here with the big U-shaped dinette does have storage underneath on both sides. Two big double bunks with USB chargers, standard outlets and LED lights on the top and the bottom. And you have a window that opens on the bottom as well as a window for natural light there. It's got a big bathroom with the door coming straight in from the outside, whereas on 27 dBH it's on the other way. But I find that most people will actually prefer this. This is a little bit more practical. It's got a big shower with a skylight there for additional headroom, medicine cabinet here, grounded power connections. This does have the upgraded fan with four different speeds. So during those hot Texas days, you can have this open uh, and on, and you want to add a max air guard cover on that, which we can do in parts, have a window open, they'll keep it 10 to 15 degrees cooler in here versus not doing so. And we have a big pantry here as well. Plenty of storage in this camper. Of course, we do have the built-in solar. That's the juice pack from the factory. So you can run all the 12 volt systems with a 50 watt solar panel. That's the lights, the slide, the awning, any jacks that are powered, the radio, and the 11 cubic foot all electric fridge that we have here. These cool down much faster than the old style fridges and also give you much more interior space because you don't have those additional components. For cooling, we do have the Coleman Mac AC here. It's very quiet, very dependable. It is ducted. If you want to drop all the cold air here, just open the vents. If you want to circulate, close it and it'll go throughout. For heat, it does have these black caps here for the furnace that works on uh, propane. And then of course you do also have the electric fireplace for supplemental heat. Coming back here to the kitchen, we have a residential power microwave. It'll very quickly and evenly heat food. A range head that actually works, it will vent outside. You do have a light here as well. And a magnetic cutting board, which is really cool. We do have a three burner cooktop with a glass sensor. Make sure you open that up before you start cooking. Rear two burners are for simmering, front one is for boiling. We do have an oven here with uh, igniters for the top and the bottom so you don't have to light it manually. Of course with the black label we do have the solid surface countertops. This is a one piece undermount farmhouse stainless steel sink. And of course we do have these inserts, additional space here. It is so new it still has the plastic on there. Look at that. We do have a hand sanitizing station here uh, as well, which is really great as sanitation is more important now than ever. A residential style faucet here, which is really great. It's not cheesy like on some other ones. And in here, the storage above the sink, it shows you here that we have the Furion backup camera, very dependable system. This is an observation camera. So as long as your running lights are on, uh, you can see what's going on behind your trailer. We do have a Mount here for a one control hotspot. So if you go to store.lci1.com, you can purchase the box It docks here, pay a subscription to AT&T, and you can have 4G no matter where you are, as long as you have cell phone signal. So coming back over here, this is where our voltage meter is for the solar, we're at 11.9. Ideally you want to be around 12. Uh, I've run this for about, you know, four hours just on the lot. 
with uh, just about everything on and it still maintained 12 volts during the day. If you want additional runtime, you can add a second battery or get a generator. So to kill everything, you just flip this switch that kills all your 12 volt there. You really only want to turn that off when you're storing it. Here we have the breaker box uh, and the converter is behind there. So if something's not working, you want to check here, you'll see a red light come on and that means that you need to replace the fuse. Here we have storage underneath the sink. Drawers here. Here's the mount for the television. And coming around here, we have our main control panel. This is where you control the slide, the awning, all of your lights, water pump, which works on 12 volt as well. So if you're pulled over on the side of the road and you wanna wash your hands or use the bathroom, as long as you have a little bit of water in the fresh tank, you can turn the pump on and that will give you water in your camper. Hot water heater is controlled here. Now this is dual power, it's propane and electric. Uh, on the outside you have an on switch. If it's on on, it's electric. If it's on off, it's propane. And when it's on propane, you wanna flip this switch to turn it on. Uh, here we have the main lights and most of these as well are individually controlled So if that switch doesn't turn off just press the button in the middle and Then we do have our slide light there Convenience light which is outside that I'll show you and the awning light of course It is on now And let me go ahead and bring the slide in so you can see what that's like So with the slide just press and hold the button and it comes in and while this is coming in, by the way, this is a smart panel. So you can download Blip or One Control app on your phone and control many aspects of your RV from your phone as well, which is really great. Cherokee really is a trailblazer on uh, adding technology like that to these campers. Here we go. So you can see let me bring the camera behind the bed here, what that looks like. So really, you know, I'm an average size guy. I can get through here very easily. But of course, if you want to go to the bathroom, I would say, you know, the most practical thing would be to use the door from the outside. But hey, you can still get to uh, the bunks even, the whole pantry. How about the fridge? There we go. Full extension of the door there. Um, yeah, you can really get to everything in here with the slide in, which is really great. Just takes a couple of seconds and you can open and close it just like that. There we go back out. There we go, nice and easy. And of course, while we're in here, just a couple of uh, final touches. So these are the zebra blinds, so you can black it out or just let a little bit of light in, which is really cool. Cherokee started doing those about a year ago. Uh, these are frameless windows on the black label. So what you can do is open them, <clears throat> even if it's raining, and get cross ventilation. So most windows, of course, will slide in and out, but this one works on a hinge, so you can see that it's going out like this. So on days like today, if it started raining outside, if you were off grid, you can still be in comfort, have the windows open, have the max air fan on in the bathroom with that max air guard and get great cross, uh, cross ventilation here. So wrapping up inside uh, with the entertainment center, uh, this is a Visa 100 by 100 mount. You can get a metal plate and adapt this to a universal style, or as we talked about, get a swivel mount. Uh, you do have coaxial here. If the green light is on, the booster's on, so you catch local channels. If it's off, you're relying on built-in entertainment like the cable outside or the HDMI in on the radio. Dual power connections. You can snake the cables through here to go to the master to get a TV connected. We do have a driven multifunction radio, so it's AM, FM, Bluetooth, HDMI in, and USB in. You have zones one and two to play music just outside, just inside, or both here. We do also have an eight inch subwoofer, which sounds really great. Uh, much better than most RV speakers. Storage here. One great thing that I really like about the newer Grey Wolves is they added more accent lights, which is really cool. 
Uh, this fireplace works only on short power or generator, so that will save you propane. <clears throat> if it's really cold outside, you can run the furnace and raise your temperature up and then maintain the heat with the electric fireplace there, which is really great. So now we'll go ahead and go outside. Of course, these have the new Paragon tempered glass door, uh, but this does have a backer here for additional security. And this is ready for a thin shade. You can add one here in service if you want. At night, you can see straight through it, so I would uh, recommend that for privacy. But Forest River has pretty much streamlined this across all of their products, gives it a really sharp look. We do have the outdoor kitchen here. Great thing about the black labels is that you do have magnets instead of clips. And this is a 26 dbh black label so it's very easy to open with one hand just like that you don't have to worry about the clips becoming brittle and breaking over time here we have a compact refrigerator outside this works on shore power ice maker hot and cold shower and a graystone cooktop this works with an rvq connection that plugs in right there that goes to your uh, propane tanks up front you can buy like a $20 hose online and connect any other grill that you would like here uh, with that propane but this is the one that is included of course it's got the black label badge with the blue led lights which is cool you also have the leds underneath the awning big electric awning a really really bright led light that's a scare light even during the day if you look at it it's blinding super bright uh marine grade speakers out here with blue led lights you don't have to worry about them uh, deteriorating over time because they are marine grade. Your furnace exhaust is here, so if you stand outside on a cold day, you can gather some warmth. Power connections, cable connection, TV mount as I showed you inside. These do have upgraded wheels with tire pressure monitoring, so as long as you're green, you're good there. Black tank flush, so whenever you dump your black tank, all you have to do is make sure your black valve is open, hook up your water hose, and this will flush it out for you. Much better than old tricks of putting ice in the tank or using a wand to stick in down a toilet. Secondary entrance into the bathroom. We do have a leash latch here. If you want to bring your four-legged friends along and keep them tethered nearby. For manual stabilizers, there are pros and cons to uh, electric versus manual, but an easy thing with this is to get a drill and a three-quarter inch bit. You can operate those up and down very quickly. This rack's ready for 200 pounds total. You can put a generator or ice chest on there. Another great thing about black labels is that you get LED tail lights, so much brighter, much safer, and will practically last a lifetime. You do also have a higher uh, brake light here as well for additional safety. There's the backup camera that I showed you inside, ready to go. That's a $700 value. Here's the storage underneath the bunk. This mm. utilizes the whole space of that bunk for storage, which is really great. This is the convenience slide I was telling you about inside, so you can see your connections early in the morning or late at night. If one outdoor shower wasn't enough, we have two on our camper. So hot and cold shower here, just like the one on the other side. City water connection for pressurized water, fresh tank connection for filling up your fresh tank. This camper is 30 amp service, which is the more common power supply. So you shouldn't have any problem at uh, most parks. One dump station here, uh, black tanks on the right, gray tanks on your left, which is sink and shower. You just have one here, so you don't need multiple hoses. Here we have the slide I showed you. It is a Schwintec system. So you have four rails, one on each corner. Very reliable and popular on lightweight campers. Here we have cable connection if you want cable. Low point drain here for winterization. Another stabilizer. Uh, dual power water heater here. These are frameless, so you have to worry about them streaking uh, because the gas gets inside the window when it rains or when you wash it. Of course, the biggest feature on the black label is that we have the gel coat fiberglass here versus this corrugated type material. This particular camper, this exact one, has the electric tongue jack. This does vary because of supply and demand right now. So all you have to do is press it up and that for down. You also have an additional light here for hooking and unhooking. In case of worst case scenario, it does have a manual override here. So it just has a little hex head in there. You can see that. It's uh, got a tool included so you can turn it just in case you have to. If you can in your business, we will wash it and detail it for the propane tanks. Batteries pre-installed from the factory because it does have the juice pack there. Uh, we'll also give you a one hour walkthrough technician where they'll show you how everything works, answering technical questions you have. Here we have the front storage here that's underneath the bed. I do have LED light here, solar controller is here. There's the include power connection and the override for the manual jack there. And of course I do have to tell you that these have the more right step above steps which are really nice. Like you would find on a fifth wheel. Our door also is a friction hinge door so it doesn't have the pneumatic device like a lot of storm doors do and of course you also have the extra large door handle for safety 
Okay, Sean against Nico from Cliff Jones RV here in Sula. I love to earn your business. I know you had your heart set on 27 DBH, but if you need one this week, we can make it happen on this one and you'll save $3,000. If you have any questions or concerns, give me a call or a text. I'd love to earn your business. Thanks again.